No one owes you closure. Why? Because everyone is responsible for moving forward with their lives, regardless of the circumstances. You have to provide that for yourself. Give yourself permission to end a chapter, to let go of the past event and come to terms with it. Remember, prolonged silence is an answer in itself. This video and the coming ones will be about tough love because that's who I am. So if you're looking for soft messages, this is not for you, but I'd actually love to trigger someone because it means I'm tapping on the wound and that would be beneficial to look at. I do not allow anyone to stop me from living my life and I suggest that you do not also. You have to surround yourself with good support system as well as being that pillar for others. It works both ways. So in this case, when you sit around weeping for an extended period of time, someone who truly cares about you would come and kick your ass lovingly waking you up. If, for whatever reason, you have lost connection with another, will you postpone your own life because they're not around? No, at least I wouldn't. You are not able to come out on the other side because you do not want to come to terms with what has happened. This is denying reality in itself, avoiding responsibility. Sit with this for a minute. Do shadow work if needed. Understand why you are acting this way in the first place. Go to the root cause of it. Cry, shout, go boxing. We are here to change, move forward, overcome obstacles and evolve. Do not stop growing because you are waiting for someone to say when it's time for you to do so. Step out of a state of victimhood. Shit happens in life. It's not all light and fluffy. A lot of times it's the opposite actually, but that's how we learn. Remember, there is life to be lived, experienced, and memories to be made. In case of an actual loss of a loved one, let me share something with you. In my time of mediumship and communication with the dead, they have made it clear to me. None of them want to see you miserable. They are sad when you are sad, especially if it's their transition that makes you feel this way. Grieving is personal. I'm not stating that you should not give yourself time to grieve. What I'm actually saying is that there is a time when you get up and say, in honor of this person I truly loved, I am going to make the best of the time I still have here. I assure you they will smile. Imagine if you transition yourself and your loved one, instead of celebrating your life, stops their life because of you. Flip the scenario. Remember, we are not here forever, so let's value the time that we still have. Focus on those who are present, who value your time, see you for who you are and truly dig your essence. If you have someone around you who needs to hear this, feel free to share this. And for now, until next time, my tribe.